Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is the Turtle Takedown set from 2003. And what this set is, is a multi-pack of figures. I believe these are all the same as the uh, individual figures. And in this set we get Michelangelo, the Foot Soldier and Raphael. Also it includes Turtle Display Environment. Again, these were made by Playmates, who made the original Turtles. See, it comes in a nice window box. You can see all three figures there. They each include two accessories. On the top, it's got this little uh, window there. And around the back, we've got little uh, bio cards for each one. So you can see Michelangelo there with his weapon of choice, Nunchaku, and a foot soldier. This one just says various on most of them, or unknown. And Raphael on the end there, and he obviously has the uh, twin side blades. So inside the box, the three figures come in this plastic tray. And you can see all the accessories that come with that. If we just lift this out, on the inside of the box we get this uh, little New York uh, street scene. It's quite a nice little feature. It's just cardboard all the way around, but... Uh, it's uh, big enough to stand your figures in, looks quite good. So here we have Michelangelo. As you can see, he's got the orange bandana. And something with the 2003 turtles, they all just had white eyes, they didn't have uh, pupils. He's got a big grin on his face. And you can see his arms are quite articulated, you've got a ball joint there. You've got a twist there. And we've got another twist at the wrist there. The legs, unfortunately, they don't uh, move very much. They just sort of swivel like that. And these figures have huge feet, which is handy for standing them up, but uh, it does make them not that pausable, really. This bit does stick up in the air, but it is soft plastic. On the back, you've got the hard plastic shell there. And you can see these little uh, on his belt for storing the nunchucks. These do come off, but unfortunately, the figures have a hole right in the middle of them. And this section is all soft plastic. So we get that back on, you've got to sort of line it up. And it should just click back in. Like that. So, Michelangelo. Wouldn't be any good without his nunchucks. And these are just made of soft, soft plastic. It's not a real chain or anything. It doesn't even have holes through the chain links. But these can hold in his hand quite nicely. You can give him a little bit of pausability there. And if you don't want to keep them in his hand, you can store them his uh, belt and they just slot through like that it's quite a nice feature there you can have him on his back so yeah he's a pretty good figure I like Michelangelo he's always a good character Got the comic relief of the turtles and it's uh, leagues beyond the old uh, 80s turtles figures we got so yeah, he's an excellent figure, just a shame about the legs, could have done with a bit more pausability there. But other than that, he's pretty good. So this is Raphael, he's the mean and moody one of the turtles, and you can see his, uh, his green is a lot lighter. He does feature the same articulation, but with this guy, he's got uh, his legs in a bit of a pause. So other than standing him like that, I mean you can move these, but you're not going to get him to stand up. So there's only real one pause that you can do with him. At the head turns, you've got the same articulation on the arms, which is good. Again, we've got the soft chest. And he's got the belt, and you can store his size in the side there. So the back is just straight across. Again, we've got the soft bandana. So Raphael comes with his side weapons, like little daggers. 
They're quite nice these, I like the way they're painted on the old 80s uh, turtles, everything was just one colour. But uh, these are pretty nice. They're a little bit small in his hands, they're not a uh, very tight fit, but he certainly holds them alright. Like I say, with those legs being the way they are, there's not a lot you can do with him. Other than just sort of stand him like that. Now you can stir these in his belt, but the way they're positioned right under the arms makes it a little bit awkward. And his leg too it gets in the way, so really that's about as good as you're going to get. Which is a shame if they just put them at the front. That would have solved that problem. So he's one to hold his weapons really, not to stir them. So when you put the two guys side by side, you can see the difference there. They're uh, slightly differently posed, and the uh, green colour is very different. The shells are the same, but the uh, the bodies are definitely uh, a couple of shades different. So there you go, that's the two turtles. So the set also features a foot soldier. Oh, I quite like this one, he's uh, different in design to the old uh, series. But uh, representing the new cartoon, he does look quite good. He's got lots of nice shiny bits on his armour there. And on his legs. But again, he has the same problem. The legs only swivel around. And this guy, is, uh, he only has the one pose to make him stand up. And he's a little bit awkward, he's a little bit top heavy. On the arms. These are again on a ball joint, but they're, uh, they don't go really that far because of the where the body's sculpted. And you can twist them there, and you can twist them at the wrists as well. Now I'm not sure, sure about the head, but it uh, seems a little bit small to me, the head. And again, he's got this little uh, bandana piece, but this one actually turns around. You can position it however you want. Maybe down there might look better. So there you go, that's him. And he does come with these excellent swords. I do like these. Now these are a little bit tight to get in his hand. They do fit in the turtle's hands quite nicely. If you just want to use the weapons to uh, give the turtles some more weapons to train with. So there he's got the double swords. Yeah, he's not a bad figure at all. And like I said, this comes in a three pack, so the main feature is the two turtles. It's just nice to get a villain in there. He is uh, articulated at the waist as well. We can actually turn this section. Something you couldn't do with the turtles because of the way the shell is. And this piece is actually separate and it does move a little bit, but uh, it's not going to go that far. So, yeah, as a bonus figure, can't complain with him really. So when we put the guys in front of the backdrop, you can see it looks pretty cool. I do find it a bit strange, this set's called Turtle Takedown, and uh, he looks outnumbered to me. I don't think there's any taking down of turtles going to be done here. But yeah, nice set overall. There was two sets of this. There is the uh, Shredder's Revenge set as well, which featured Leonardo, Donatello and Shredder. I will show you that soon. But for now, his... Raphael, Michelangelo and the Foot Soldier. This has been Luke, thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.